guys, today I bring to you empties. If you haven't seen one of these videos before, the concept is you just do a little review on products that are literally empty. It just gives a good indication of how you actually found the product since you did use up the entire thing. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm just gonna like put this over here. So I've got some tans in here. I have a Loving Tan Two Hour Express and a La Tan Express. You can tell I'm always in a hurry. Um, I liked both of these. I've repurchased both of these. This one is more expensive but it's also slightly better. It's just darker. Whereas this I like is sort of a tan topper. It just gives a really nice tone, like a green base kind of tone. You can rinse it off after 30 minutes, which is so fast. Whereas this one is two hours. I would definitely recommend both of these and yeah, I've purchased them both already. I love them both. They're probably my favorite two foam tanners at the moment. These are featured in many empties videos. I loved these for so long. I would still buy them if I was in a pickle, but I prefer the Garnier Micellar in oil wipes now, which I'm surprised there's none in here. I must have just thrown them out without remembering to keep the rubbish, but those are the ones I use now, but if you are in a pickle, the Swiss Swiss ones are really good. These witch cleansing and toning wipes, I was not a big fan of. They were almost exfoliating, so it was quite tender, like your skin felt quite tender afterwards and they just felt very stripping. Um, but you know, they might work if you have a different skin type. I'm more on the dry side these days. These ones are the Nivea Micellar Wipes. I tried these because I love the Garnier Micellar Wipes, but they weren't as good. They kind of took more time to remove mascara and everything, not as good as the Garnier ones, so I wouldn't repurchase these. Eco Care Organic Facial Wipes Apple and Honey. These smell really good, I remember, but they were like, almost too strongly fragranced that I wondered if it's not too great for your skin. It was almost like putting a perfume oil on your skin, but without the oil part, like they weren't super hydrating or anything. Not bad, but I probably wouldn't repurchase just because I love my Garnier one so much. Next I can see two Vaseline spray moisturizers. These are by no means the most moisturizing of moisturizers out there, but they're just so good if you're feeling lazy and in a hurry, which I clearly am. Like Express Tan and spray moisturizers are all empty. Um, yeah, they're just really good, especially for your legs. If you've just shaved and you're running out the door, you just spritz them on. I'm sure you guys have all heard of these and I would probably repurchase, to be honest. Next, I have a mascara. This is the Cheetah Mascara from The Balm. I remember not loving this. It was just kind of average, but then again, mascaras are different for everybody. For me, it was just a bit too dry. I have a couple of deodorants in here. This is my ride or die deodorant. It's the Rexona Clinical Protection. That's what it looks like. I get the shower clean scent because the other ones are like overwhelmingly scented. I accidentally bought a scented one once and it's like you can't even wear perfume. It's so strong, but it smells like toilet spray kind of thing, like not cute. Um, these are probably not good for you because you do not sweat when you use these like at all. It like must go into your pores and like clog them up or something. But it's really good if you don't want to get BO, like if you're working out or something. I am looking into getting a natural deodorant, but they do slightly scare me. But for the meantime, I am still using this and it's, it's so good, like you will never smell at all. Next I have a purple shampoo. This is the Affinage White Ice Blonde Bombshell Shampoo. I remember it took me a long time to go through this because I was just not loving it. I would definitely not repurchase. Now I use the Fudge Purple Shampoo and it's so much better. Barely did anything. I'd leave it in my hair for like 15 minutes. I'd be like, okay, surely that did something. No. Wasn't even super cleansing or stripping, like in a good way, to make your roots clean. It's just not that great, so I would not recommend this. Next, I have a million dry shampoos. This is the best dry shampoo ever. For me, anyway, it works really well. I do know for people who have darker roots, it will definitely show up as like white powder. It will look like cocaine in your hair or something, but they do make like brunette ones and stuff. I can't really speak for other hair colors, but for my own hair type and hair color, this is amazing. It makes your roots look so fresh and it makes them feel incredible. You can tell I'm like a diehard fan because I have three cans in here, which is a little excessive. I use it kind of on third day here and it kind of stretches me out to the fourth day. So I love that. Oh, I've got a mini one in here too, which is all used up. You can get little travel size ones. Ooh, just look the same, but small if I compare the two. So cute. This moisturizer was really nice. It was from Skin Food. It's got boobs on it because it was for the breast cancer foundation. Oh, it's so good. It's like citrusy. 
so yummy. I hope they make this again because I will definitely repurchase that if they make it again. It was so nice. It just sunk right into the skin. And then I used up this one too, the Body Shop Shea Butter little container. Good one to travel again. It's nice to take a little small moisturizer with you when you're traveling. Don't know if I'd repurchase it because I love the honey and almond milk scent more than this now. This one here was a Milani face powder. It says O2 Light Medium The Multitasker face powder. Completely used up this whole pan. I loved this. It was just from Beauty Joint, I believe. Just got it for like drugstore tutorials and I ended up using up the whole thing. Um, now I'm a devout user of translucent powder. They're just so fine. They don't look powdery on your skin. This was a great color for me and affordable, but it did still look like you had powder on your face. I would not repurchase this now, but if you're looking for a good drugstore powder and maybe powder doesn't settle as much on your face as it does on mine, you could definitely give this a go, but I won't repurchase this. Gentle Cleansing Foam. I loved this. I think I had this in a video ages ago. It made my skin nice and clean, but it didn't make it feel tight. It'd be a good one to give a go if you've got more like oily acne kind of skin but you still don't like that tight feeling. The only reason I won't repurchase this is because I have one that's pretty much the exact same now but it goes in conjunction with my other skincare. I feel like if you use all the same brand it's a little bit better so yeah hopefully you know what I mean but it's a good product. I've got so many little moisturizers. I've got two of the body hydrating creams from Dermalogica. This is from when I was going through like a fake tan phase whereas now I haven't fake tanned in like months. I should probably get around to it at some stage. It smells so good. It smells like a day spa. I love this stuff. I would consider buying the full size of this if I saw it in a store somewhere. And then this is actually a facial moisturizer. They're dramatically different from Clinique. I had this with me when we went to Sydney last and I got so sunburned. So I just like slathered my whole body in it and used up a whole tube that way, which is kind of bad because it's more pricey than a body moisturizer, but I did not care at the time. I was like, put it on me. I was like, burnt to a crisp. More mascaras. The Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes. Unpopular opinion, but I did not like this. I know, shoot me. Plus it's so expensive and luxe. I was just expecting to love it. Did not love it. it didn't do anything for me. It just clumped my lashes together. I don't know, so I wouldn't repurchase, but Mascara is such a subjective thing again, so I don't know. Lots of people like that one. Wine mascara I got for that Hate or Rate video, the Chateau Labiote or Labiote. I actually really liked this, but after a few uses, it just got so much, like so volumizing. It's got little fibers on it. It's almost like the unique mascara is clumpy with all the fibers, which was kind of disappointing. But I mean, the novelty factor remains. Wouldn't repurchase, I've tried it once. Um, these two I would repurchase, the Roller Lash by Benefit and the CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. These pretty much give the same effect, this one's just drugstore, but this one's a little bit easier to apply because the brush is like curved, like a subtle curve to it. We have a toothpaste here, this is the Colgate Optic White Express White, whiter teeth in three days. This was really good, I try to only use a toothpaste like this like every six months because I'm worried about ruining my enamel. And honestly, I'm due to do it, but this stuff does work. So I might actually buy another tube of this. It's just from the supermarket. It is good stuff. I have a few eye creams here. For memory, I was doing a little bathroom clear out and these were both past their expiry. They've definitely been open more than six months. I've had this Kiehl's one for like four years and I still didn't get around to finishing it. It's the creamy eye treatment with avocado. The ingredients have like separated. I think I actually got millier from using this because it was too like rich for my under eyes. Wouldn't repurchase. It's really nice probably for a more mature skin but it was just too rich for my under eyes and this one I did really like and I would repurchase it's the oxygen eye cream but I have an eye cream at the moment a trilogy one so I do not need to repurchase this but it was a good one uh what do we have a L'Oreal super slim infallible liner this dried up really quickly I'm not a big fan of the felt tip liners so I wouldn't repurchase that I've only got a few left guys uh, I have a micellar water here well, this is like before they were called micellar waters, but this is from Clarins. It's a water comfort one step cleanser. Um, wouldn't repurchase it now because you can get a million different micellar waters for like a fifth of the price of this at the supermarket, but it was really nice. And very lastly, we have a Revitalash. Good thing I know the packaging because the writing's completely smudged off. I still do top up with this lash serum occasionally when I want to have really nice full eyelashes. It works so well. And I do have one that I've got on the go right now. 
right now so I did repurchase this finally done I feel like for my next empties I should make an effort to save more makeup let me know in the comments something that you have used up recently and you will repurchase or something you won't repurchase if you were disappointed I would love to know and besides that have an incredible rest of the day and I'll see you again soon bye guys